Can I talk to you guys about something? Actually, Teddy, this is not a good time. We're still having a pretty big fight. Well, I think what I'm about to say may solve things. Amy, I'm still in love with you. What? 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 Uh-oh. A skip is cop scoop. This is super uncomfortable. Jazz. Okay, okay, everybody, just calm down and take a deep breath. <sighs> what the hell is going on, man? Yeah, what the hell is going on? You got a girlfriend. I know, and she's fine. Thanks. Sorry, I was really planning on you being in the cab during this. Okay, that wouldn't make it better. Amy, I'm just, I'm not over you yet, and I would have never said anything because I thought you and Jake were happy, but after seeing you at Jazz Brunch, I think I might have been wrong. Don't read into that. That was a freak argument. We are very happy. Amy, we have all the same interests. We have so much chemistry. When we're together, it's like no matter where we are, it's San Diego. I feel compelled to tell you that San Diego is terrible. I'll lay it all on the line. Amy Santiago, will you marry me? What? Okay, really, could you stay in the cab? I'm sorry, I'll be right there, I promise. Or maybe I won't. What's your answer? Teddy, I don't want to be with you. But you want to be with him? You guys have nothing in common. Oh, yeah? Tell that to William Atherton, the man we both consider to be the second best diehard villain. <gasps> she meant it. And also, yes, we are different people, but I love that about us. I love that Jake's a little messy and that he cares so much about his dumb sneakers and he doesn't get stressed out about calendars. Or flossing my teeth. No, the non-flossing is crazy. Copy that and I love you. I'm just so confused. Your fight was like something out of a movie. Teddy, no. I have to tell you the truth. No, Amy is dying. She has one month to live. Marrying her would be a waste of time. Jake and I were only pretending to fight so that we could destroy your phone. While we were on the stakeout and you were in the bathroom, we said you were the most boring man in America and your phone recorded it. I'm sorry. We didn't want you to get mad at us and fail the precinct. Wow. You guys are the worst. Oh. You just proposed in front of your girlfriend, so potato, potato. Amy, I loved you. All right, I'm ready to go, Rachel. Should we hit up the Tenement Museum? No! no. We called the bomb squad and got everyone out of the building. We should leave. Who would do something like this? Well, I clearly have an arch nemesis. Finally. Must be someone I put away who's hell-bent on revenge. He's probably gonna make me choose between saving the city and saving the woman I love. Little does he know. I can save both. How are you so calm right now? Someone is trying to blow us up. I'm calm because there's not really a bomb. I mean, if you're trying to kill someone, you don't call and give them a heads up. So they're just trying to scare us. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. The bomb squad's on their way. They'll do a quick sweep, find nothing, and split, and this will just become a funny story we work into our vows. Amy, there was a bomb at this wedding. Your butt. Your butt is the bomb. Please don't say that during the ceremony. Is it that you don't like wordplay, or you don't want me to talk about your butt at all, because one of those notes is really going to pull through it? How did this guy even find out about the wedding? the stupid engagement announcement Charles put in the paper. It had the time and location of the ceremony. Amy, be very careful about throwing around accusations like that, because if you're trying to say I somehow ruined Jake's wedding, then I'm gonna kill myself. So tread lightly. Okay, just take it easy, Charles. Nothing is ruined. See, the bomb squad is already here. And they brought a robot. This is exactly how I imagined my wedding would be when I was a kid. Well, well, well. <laughs> Amy Santiago. Amy, look, your ex-boyfriend is here on our wedding day. Why? This is my crew. Yeah, you called me boring, so I leveled up my cool, and now I run the bomb squad. I also started traveling. I went to Belgium. They have the best spaghetti. Teddy, let's get everything out on the table here. Last time we saw you, you kind of proposed to Amy, so you're not still in love with her, right? No, I definitely am. My therapist told me to stop trying to get over it. Oh, weird you wouldn't hide it even for your own pride. But seriously, don't worry. I'm a cop, I have a job to do, and I'm gonna do it professionally. That's great. I'm happy to hear that. Meaning I will be doing a super thorough sweeping of the building. It's gonna take hours, so you should probably just cancel the wedding. Anyway, congrats, you two. Congrats on the bomb squad. Charles! Now let's go check on Teddy. I'm sure he's made a ton of progress. Nope, I haven't even gone in yet. Still putting on the bomb suit. Yeah, my job is super dangerous, but I like living life on the edge. Just kind of sexy if you think about it. Ugh, there's no bomb. If they wanted us dead, they wouldn't have called first. Not always the bomber who calls. Maybe you had a young daughter, found a key to a secret room, came across some blueprints, felt guilty, and wanted to save your life. Seems unlikely. Well, Amy? In this life, it's sometimes the unlikeliest outcome. It feels like you're winding up to propose again here. I was, good catch. Amy, would you? No! Still did it. All right, well, this is gonna take a while, so you have time to reconsider. Off to do my sleep dangerous job. <sighs> Teddy and I are the only ones left. I'm gonna win this, no matter how much he talks about light rail systems. Ooh, you should ride the one in Akron, by the way. Very little noise. Oh my god. Enough about light rails. Let's talk trams. I amusement can't, parks I get can't, it. I can't, yeah, more I cities can't, adopted the amusement I park can't. method. I mean, oh, put fun. your hands over the ears. Kind of just feel like you're having oh, no, fun wait, when you're on a train. Hands are off. We have a winner. <laughs> Me? Oh. I'm on the stroller. Woo! Oh, <laughs> uh, I see what I did wrong. It's okay. Come on, let's get you home. Gee, excuse me. Amy, you can have the stroller for the right price. Okay. How much? 
Amy Santiago, will you marry me? No!